Hello Gemini, welcome back to the Spirit's Path and this is your July horoscope for 2021. And just to recap, you know, this is the year of the ancestors, so everybody's listening to their own beat of the drum, walking their own spiritual path, um, you know, listening to that ancestor, right? You started the year out by setting down a foundation of, of, of life, right? Getting your things set up on a good um, bedding of, uh, of, uh, of rock, right? Not sand, but bedrock, right? You, you putting things in perspective, you know, your security, your stability, your materialism. You did that in January. In February, it was represented by the Knight of, eel, Knight of Vessels in that eel, you know, looking at that, um, how, how the Knight's able to negotiate and, and fight for what it is that you want. Um, you know, he asked, you know, the Knight asked, you know, where are your emotions running high? As well as, you know, do you need to express your sensitivity? You know, the Vessels is all about uh, emotional energy, all right? So emotions and psychic ability, things of that nature. So even though you set a good foundation, you know, you, you have to listen to your intuition. You have to understand what it is you have to protect for your journey for this year, right? In March, it was frustrating. You couldn't hit that. You couldn't hit that goat whether you, you know, had 80 arrows flying through there. It was frustrating for you in the month of March. Because maybe you're not living up to your, you know, the potential of what you wanted to see happen this year. All right. Maybe, you know, there's some thought process going on for you, Gemini, that, you know, you're not really in tune with. Okay. And as a result, you know, you're missing the mark. You're not thinking things through. In April, you decided, you know what, I'm going to take a different journey. I'm going to go on a different path. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave what I've had behind me and I'm just going to, um, I'm going to move forward and I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let stuff bother me. All right. I'm going to transition into a different thinking pattern, a different way of, of moving myself forward so I can hit those goals that I had at the beginning of the year. And you saw that in the month of May. All right. In the month of May, you were attracting things. All right. You were attracting maybe, you know, somebody significant into your life. Maybe you're attracting some uh, or, you know, attracting finances, attracting friends, attracting, you know, something that's going to help benefit you to, to meet that ace of stones, that foundation life, to give you more traction. And you did that right after you transitioned. Okay. And then last month was all about manifesting, manifesting what, what you want out there, whether that's fire energy, whether that's air energy, water energy, earth energy. You, have the, you had the ability in June to manifest whatever it is you wanted. Right, and that all falls into place with, with you know what's been going on this this year. All right, you set that goal up in the month of month of January. All right, and now you know it's taking you some time to work toward it, but now it's the time to manifest it, Gemini. So let's see, let's see what the month of July has to offer you. And I'm going to do the same thing that I've done in the past. I'm going to draw one theme for the month, and then we're going to look at four cards for each week. And again, these are just themes. Right, it could you know look different or whatever, but you know for the most part, you know whatever that whatever that theme is, the weeks you know we'll 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 talk about it. So in the month of June you were you were manifesting. In the month of July you're going to be fulfilled, represented by the three of bows and fulfillment. You know here you are walking down this path, and, and you know maybe you put some plans into into motion. All right, now you're going to see. Um, some things come to fruition for you in the month of July. Being fulfilled, being fulfilled spiritually, being fulfilled uh, mentally, being fulfilled, um, you know, through, I said spiritually and mentally, physically, all right. In July, you're going to have a very good month, you know, but you still have that decision to make. It doesn't make a, you know, a difference what path you go down, all right, because you will find that balance. And that's that's what she is wearing on the front of her front of her gown. Whether you go to the left or to the right, you will have a decision to make. All right, but either path you go down is going to be fulfilling for you. So let's see what your weeks look like for the month of July. And I really I really like how how this is you know come out for you. Ever since you made that transition in uh, 
in April. You know, things have, have looked really good for you, Tim and I. Okay, you know, you're attracting what you need to attract. Uh, you're manifesting what you need to manifest. And now, you know, you've got this, this fulfillment going on. All right, in that first week of, of July, Gemini, is gonna be represented by the Page of Bows and the Stoat. And we'll talk about that, all right? We'll clarify that with that Three of Bows and fulfillment. But right off the bat, you know, it's, this is fire energy, right? This is creative energy. And that Page, he's gonna have a message of creativity, a message of, of action for you to move forward. The second week is represented by the Woodward giving you the strength and the courage, you know, that life lessons card during that week, you know, to to take on an aspect, all right? And maybe whatever that page of bows has for you, maybe, you know, it's showing you where you need to be strong, where you need to be, you know, have that courage to move forward. Maybe it's in, you know, that, you know, putting something into action that you weren't really sure about, okay? But remember, you're manifesting things right now. You know, you're gonna be fulfilled this month, so whatever decision you make is gonna be represented. Beware in that third week, because the ground may come out from underneath you, that blasted oak. Now, with this being, you know, you've got two life lessons cards down here already. Maybe that strength and endurance is setting you up for this third week in July. Even though you come crashing down to earth, the thing here is, that I like to talk about, is the bonds are broken, okay? Yes, the lightning snapped that branch and you're falling, okay? But why did you, why did you lash yourself to that tree? Why did you bind your hands and bind your feet from moving forward? Okay, and maybe that's that message that that page of bows is trying to get to you, that stoat. All right, so this third week is gonna, is gonna rock you a little bit. All right, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna go back to your ace of, ace of stones foundation of life. It's gonna take you back to that and say, you know what? You need to be free. You need to continue moving forward and not put all your, I don't want to say eggs in one basket, but that, well, that's, what, that's what's coming to mind, all right? You don't want to be lashed to that concept. You don't want to be tied to that, to that project, all right? You need to have an open mind, all right? And, and that's what this card is telling you. Yes, this is a tower moment and, and things are going to look bad during that third week, but with that three of bows fulfillment, you're going to be fulfilled with this. Okay, it's going to show you that you don't need to be tied down to what's going on during this third week of July. And in that fourth week of July for you, Gemini, is going to be represented by that four stones and protection. So see how that see how that just falls falls into place. All right, you're going to recognize during that third week that you know what somebody's going to rock your world. Something's going to rock your world, a concept, a thought process, whatever it is. And you're going to open your eyes and you're going to say, you know what? Why did I, why did I, why did I, I, I put myself into this? Okay. And I think I spoke about this in, in, in maybe the Taurus video, you know, video. We like to be comfortable in our settings. But sometimes shakeup is good because shakeup gives us that opportunity to learn and to grow. All right. And then that fourth week comes along and you've got the four of stones protection. You're protected during this month. Okay, you're protected during this week because even though things felt bad last, you know, that third week, that fourth week you're gonna be protected. You're gonna say to yourself, you know what, I made that right decision. And it all leads back into that three of both fulfillment, right? It all leads into saying this, you know, even though I'm, you know, whatever decision it was that I made, whatever path I'm going down with that three of bows, all right, I'm protected. I'm protected by that four stones. I'm protected from the elements. I'm protected from the backlash. I'm protected from the gossip and the criticism. And knowing that you're being protected, it helps, it helps knowing that you're on that, on that fulfilling path. It helps that you're finding balance within you know, whatever it is you're struggling with. Work, life, whatever. That three, that three of bows is there, you know, giving you that creative energy. And like I said, that page of bows is giving you that message. You know, he's the, this, this stoat is a myst, mystical link to the land, all right? And he's following you during this path of fulfillment, all right? And he's going to give you some messages, whatever that might be, all right? And it's about, like I said, fire and creativity. So, you know, here you got a fire and create, creative theme for the month, all right? 
But this page is going to ask you who or what is offering you an opportunity. Where is that opportunity that you can grow? Where is that opportunity that you can be creative? Okay. And how would things change if you engaged with it? That's what that page asks, asks you. You know, you're, last month in June, you're manifesting things. Okay. You're on the right path. You transitioned. You're attracting things. You're manifesting. And now you're being fulfilled. And the stoats ask in that, during that first week of, of what's going on with your fulfillment. It's who's offering the opportunity. What path are you going to take? Where are you going to find a better balance? Each path is good. Okay? It's up to you to decide which path to take. And how would you, you know, what would happen if you engaged in it? Whatever that opportunity is, whatever that path is, if you engage with that path, do you know what's going on down the road? No, you don't. You can always come back, but when you, when you go backwards to take a different path, you lose ground moving forward. That second week, and you know, whatever path you take is going to, you need, you need the strength and the courage. Learning that life lessons card. And that strength and courage is going to build your endurance. But you know what it's going to do? It's also going to help you on that fall with that blasted oak. By engaging in that opportunity from that page of bows, okay, by looking at who is offering you that opportunity, maybe you realized in that third week with that blasted oak that you don't have to be tied to a desk, that you don't have to be tied to a certain way in a relationship, Gemini. You know, maybe, maybe it's you need to communicate better or maybe you need to, um, you know, step out from feeling confined you're an air sign so you know you go with the wind gemini you're out there you know to be with you know to be with that air and that logic and that reasoning the air is going to protect you during this fall the fire is burning you know here you got the creativity of the bows burning away those lashes giving you the opportunity to be free which is going to be fulfilling because once you re once you get rid of that burden, once that burden comes off your shoulders, Gemini, you're just going to be a big sigh of relief, whether that's in a project or a relationship, however you want to look at it. And then know going in for the rest of the month of July, Gemini, you're going to be protected. You'll be protected moving forward. And that's going to help be help you feel fulfilled. Help you feel that you made the right decision moving forward. Helping you find that balance. So there you have it, Gemini. Your July for, uh, horoscope for 2021. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and share it with others. This is D for Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you in the month of August. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.